Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Happiest Hour on Earth. Tonight, you are in for a treat because we are really kind of going through the ringer here. We asked our listeners for their hardest Would You Rather questions, Disney edition. So we almost see this as like a uh, an unpopular opinions part two in a way, which was such a fun episode for us to make. But I think there's going to be a lot of things in here that you guys don't agree with. So it's going to get spicy up in here because we got we got a couple Would You Rather and our listeners went all in. These are yeah, so hard. incredibly Very tough. Hard. I am so excited to get into these because I think we're going to differ. I think we're a lot of these too. Oh, so, it's going to be so fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. All right, before we jump into this episode, if you are watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps out our channel so much. And if you're listening on a podcasting platform, go ahead and click the follow button. And if you want to help us out even more, go ahead and write a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or click five stars on Spotify. It really propels our show out for more Disney listeners and Disney fans to hear. And so we can't thank you enough for that. All right, guys, we are almost ready to jump into these very very difficult um, would you rather questions but just quick little updates on our life because we are now officially in baby month uh um, it's september what are we filming on the third, third? september third um and i'm due on the 21st so we've got a couple weeks to go yeah. and i am very much ready to not be pregnant anymore so um, yeah, we're, we're right there on the, on the verge of having this kiddo. So we're actually recording a couple episodes, um, just pre-recording a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. for, for the foreseeable month or two after the baby's born, because we're still kind of figuring out how all that's going to go. But yeah. yeah, we're, we're, we're right there. It's wild how fast this pregnancy has gone and also dragged at the same time. <laughs> I think if you've ever been pregnant, you kind of know the feeling. Um, but yeah, it's it's right there on the on the verge of happening. So yeah. we're we're pumped, and I think we're pretty much as ready as we're gonna be. So For send sure. us all the tips if you have tips of uh, becoming a parent of two, because we need all the help, especially as we are still dealing with plenty of sleep issues with our toddler yeah it's uh, been uh, uh three weeks in counting i yeah, think so maybe over May, yeah, I think maybe almost over a month at this point almost and a month. yeah yeah we, we have not gotten a full night of sleep in a while and i think most of the moms i've talked to about this have pretty much unanimously said it's just something that happens when you're about to have another baby like the the, the older sibling just knows yeah and everything just goes out the window that you're used to so I guess it's not abnormal, but we're just trying to like wrap our heads around <laughs> having a newborn in the midst of it. So yeah, send us all the love and encouragement if you have any. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, we're hanging in there. But it's also kind of crazy because we are kind of just going for it with episodes right mm -hmm. now. We're going to film one after this episode that we're doing right now. Yep. Um, and then we're going to be having a guest on, which will be in a week or two. I'm yeah. going to be doing a couple episodes as well. So we're just kind of getting some done um, yeah. so that we can still kind of do it at a regular cadence. Uh, there might be some episodes where I'm kind of by myself. Um, maybe an episode where a baby just screams might the be. entire time. That'd be or, a nice or one. Not <laughs> maybe it'll just be really chill. Maybe it'll just chill. It'll just be yeah. our little like mascot for little the mascot, episode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was saying that he should just host an episode, mm, you yeah, know, just yeah, babble into the mic for a little bit. I mean, so, I don't know if people some good would stuff. mind that. I think he's probably going to be pretty cute. So. <laughs> He'll be pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> we'll it'll see. be great. Oh man. But okay. Yeah, let's, let's dive into these. Do you, yeah. Do you want to hit us off first? <sighs> okay. They, uh, these are some They start ones. off strong. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, our first question came from at Lisa baby and she said, if one ride had to close permanently and we had to choose, would it be Pirates or Haunted Mansion forever? Coming out strong with these questions. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You guys, you guys really threw them at us. I know what both of our answers are going to be for this one, though. For I sure. do. And you guys might. You probably know. You might because we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. But So for me, I'd probably have to say goodbye to Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Even yeah, see. That's a hard thing to say. Obviously, I adore that ride. But Pirates 
has always been my favorite ride. It's one that Walt was a part of. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just, it's a classic. I, it's iconic. That is so, so tough because I, I, I almost see them on the same plane, right? Like Pirates and Haunted, both, especially yeah, in Disneyland, in New Orleans equal. Square. They're both, they both have that Disney magic feels, mm-hmm. but Pirates, yeah. Like, it, like you said, Walt had his hand in a lot of, um, you know, making Pirates of the Caribbean mm-hmm. um, and Haunted, you know, he, he was definitely helping with that, but he died a lot earlier than mm-hmm. that ride did. So you just feel more, more Walt with Pirates yeah. and you have a little bit of that thrill. And it's just one of the most immersive rides. Plus I, I just love the water aspect yeah, of it. I, there's just something so yeah, fun about that. Thing. Yeah. So Pirates will keep Haunted Mansion. I'm so sorry. You're going away. Very sad. Oh, that's tough to say. Okay, next next up. We got friend at friend like Melody, and she just got her shirt recently, some merch, which was so awesome. Actually, that I'm wearing right now. This one, she went to uh, Animal Kingdom with it and took some photos. We'll we'll have to post them soon. Um, I put it on the story, but oh my gosh, like so So awesome. Melody is just so great. So definitely go follow her page. And, um, and yeah, super cool. And I hope you had a great trip. Mm -hmm. Um, so she said, would you rather do mission space orange three times throughout the day or mission space green 10 times in a row? So for those people who don't know, mission space orange is like the worst experience. (laughs) Um, A lot of people say it is, you know, it's just like, it's very, vomit inducing they even have barf bags on that one uh mission space green is a little more calm but we actually never got a chance to ride yeah, either never, one because it yeah. was it was food and wine festival we drank and ate around the world and we were about to go on and then we decided against it yeah we were like you know what we're smarter than this we're not gonna <laughs> do it and so we never actually we got to go on right but i think i know i i think i know mine i know mine okay what's yours I mean, ha, you know, to the best of my ability, this yeah, is the answer because yeah. I've never been on it. But just guessing, I think I would have to just do it 10 times in a row. Really? Yeah. Because okay. I would not want to have to like throughout my day think about Ooh. I have to go on it again. Oh, I have to go on it again and like possibly puke each time. No, Ooh, I'd rather okay. just knock it all out. 10 times that is a lot, but yeah, that is a lot. Yeah. I think I would still just rather do that and just get it all over with Mm -hmm. rather than having my whole day, like tied down to having to go. Well, technically you you could do it three times in a row. No, like it's throughout the day. So you could choose when you want want to use this, but still that would be like really bad. Okay. So I'm going to say, not, (laughs) I'm going to say orange three times throughout the day. Cause I feel like I'll go first thing in the morning, like after, like, won't have a, a heavy breakfast. I'll just kind of have a croissant or something, right? Um, maybe not coffee yet. That will be my coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I'll wake me up. Boost. And then and then I could really se- selectively pick when I'm going to do those other two times. So I'm going to go three times throughout okay. the day. I know that if we had probably experienced orange, my answer might be different. <laughs> might but different. <laughs> for right now, I'm going to say three times throughout the day. Um, okay. Do you want to hit us up? Yeah. Next one comes from at Disney Marvel Mama. And she asked, would we rather Oogie Boogie Bash or Star Wars Night? That's really good. I would love to go to both of them. Yeah. But I feel like... I feel like I would rather Oogie Boogie Bash, probably. Yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But I am too. I think Oogie Boogie Bash. You, I just could think see there's some more... Star Wars, right? You could dress up as Star. You know, yeah, yeah. You could, and I just think that there's more to it. It's more like, like a party. It, you know, like yeah. There's, and there's like the whole park. It's a big variety. Yeah, rather yeah. than just focusing on one. But Star Wars Night looks so cool. It does. So that's really tough. But I think, yeah, I, I think with Oogie Boogie Bash, it'd be fun to just see everyone's different costumes. costumes. Rather than Star Wars Night would be awesome because you get to see it, everything is Star Wars, celebrating Star Wars. But Oogie Boogie Bash, would be so fun to just be like, oh my gosh, that's so-and-so, you know? Yeah. And it's it's almost like a little cosplay event, like a little yeah. um, Comic-Con in a way, right? Yeah, People get to dress up whatever they want to be. So I'm going to say Oogie Boogie Bash too. Yeah, I've always kind of wanted to do either a Halloween or a Christmas party in yeah. the park. So 
I think that would have to be my choice too. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay, so this is a re- this is a really tough one too. I know my answer, but um, our friend at it's Lauren Renee said, "Would you rather do a VIP tour or dinner in Club Thirty Three? I know. Oh, I can't believe we're we're the same here. Are you going to say dinner in Club Thirty <laughs> Three? Yeah, yeah, okay, dinner in Club Thirty Three. Yeah. Um, I think a VIP tour would know. be amazing, but the I thing would, is, oh, it I mean, really it's, is hard. It's really hard. Mm. I mean, we've done all the rides, so it's like, know. yes, it'd be cool to skip the rides. Maybe and the be, line. The, yeah, sorry, the lines to skip the rides. Oh my <laughs> um, like to get to do everything just yeah, but so it's easily, but it is Club 33, and that has been our dream for a long time. So yeah, it has to yeah. be Club 33. Yeah, I love it. Easy That's one, a good one, though. I guess. Actually, and with all of these, like literally, I want to hear what you guys think. Put it down in the comments below. These yeah. are some tough ones. If there's some that you disagree with, you know, yeah, or agree with, know. let us know because I, I love hearing from that. These are tough. Um, okay. Hit us Next up. one comes from at just another Magic Monday. And they asked, stay a night in Walt's apartment or Cinderella's suite in the castle? This is, this one, I don't even know. As I'm thinking about it, but I, I think I know. Okay. I think I would probably say stay a night in Walt's apartment. I mean, it has the history there. The, yeah, yeah. To be able to say like, this is where he used to stay when he was in the park. Yeah. Might be a little eerie. Yeah. That's what I was slightly, thinking. Slightly. But if we had each other, like I wouldn't yeah. probably want to do it alone. Yeah. You know what? I was listening to um, another podcast and, um, Walt and Lillian had separate beds in the apartment. And I think that was just a thing back in the day Mm -hmm. that the people didn't really like sleep together. I I know in like shows, they did did that like in film Um, back in the day, they always showed separate beds. Yeah. It was just like appropriate. Maybe in the, uh, maybe they're like, we want to make it appropriate at Disneyland. So we'll have separate beds. (laughs) Um, But maybe, I, I don't know, maybe it's smaller beds. And so, they just got their own bed. Yeah, I don't know, but I think there is separate beds in Walt's apartment. If I got that wrong, like let us know. But um, I did hear that. Yeah, there's two separate beds. Very interesting. So we wouldn't be able to sleep together. Um, but we'll still be in together, the same. Right? Yeah, we'll still be in the. Oh, push them together. Oh my gosh, I went on a ruin. Uh, <laughs> met, move things around girl. there. But um, you know, I was kind of leaning towards Cinderella's suite at the beginning, just because to stay a night in the castle, and it's probably so yeah. updated and modern and cozy. But I think. I, I think the history aspect of it yeah. would be Walt's apartment. Although it'd be weird to be in the sheets that, well, they've washed them I'm since. I'm pretty but, sure yeah. that the sheets are different. I don't think that they have the same yeah. sheets from when he was there. So it would be a little it's weird, a little eerie, like you said. Where he used to be. But Oof. yeah, I. Oof. That'd be like a Halloween. I don't know why it's just <laughs> kind of spooky, but. Well, I think because be cool. we always talk about like Walt's spirit still being in the park. Yeah. Which is like what makes it so magical. Like you're spending a night but, with Walt. Yeah, but to be like in his room where you would just imagine his spirit residing, it's like. <laughs> It's cool. Yeah, it's I don't know amazing. if I would like. I don't know if I would like fall asleep quickly. Like, it take a second to <laughs> like, get over that. But I yeah, no, I, I would still. So, okay, answer. I don't know. I, mean, I think so too. It's I think never so too. Happen. So I would just say that's that's what I would do. Probably, yeah. Ooh, okay. For the um, nostalgia. Do you want to get the next one here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we did. Oh, I got. Oh it yeah. Okay. Really matter, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. I'll steal it from you. <laughs> so at Erica dot adventures, who we just had on the show recently, yes. such a great episode. So go check it out. She's amazing. Go check out her page. Um, she said, would you rather only be able to ride tower of terror or only be able to ride mission breakout for the rest of your life? I know my answer. Okay. I would definitely say tower of terror because I love mission space. But mission breakout. Sorry. Oh my. Yes. So, no. Yeah. <laughs> the mission threw me off. Okay. We were just talking about the other. What mission we're we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Um. But because there is now another Guardians themed ride Ooh. that would have That's a good. lot of the same vibes. Ooh. I would have to say I would keep my Tower of Terror that I have always adored so like, and missed so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You, you are very convincing in a lot of these. Um, so I was going to say mission breakout because it's here. Um, but yeah, if we could like 
bring Tower mm-hmm. back to California Adventure. I guess I'd probably say that. Yeah, that was a good reasoning with the Cosmic Rewind. But I don't know. I mean, we love Mission Breakout. It's so much fun. It is. Ooh. Yeah, but I do love the, the Tower. Okay, I'm going for that. You you convinced me. I'll go Tower <laughs> instead of Mission Breakout. But yeah, I will but travel to my favorite. Um, to Walt Disney World to do Cosmic Rewind. Yeah. So much Which fun. we are dying to do because I Everyone. swear, every single person that we have asked... What's your favorite ride? What's your favorite yeah. ride? Ever since that ride has come out, that's been people's favorite ride. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's, it's just it has taken over Disney World as yeah. a favorite ride. So I'm we pumped to it. ride it whenever we get ourselves back there. Yeah, for sure. So excited eventually. Um the next one comes from at Meg Crofton, who asked Astro Orbiter nonstop for one hour or only be able to ride the pal around swinging all day. <laughs> oh my. I know mine. You do? Yeah. <sighs> okay, you go first. So okay. Because I don't know. Neither one sounds appealing. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. <laughs> if this if I'm getting her question right, if you're only able to ride the Pixar pal around swinging all day, but it's not like you're forced to ride it, then I would choose that because I just wouldn't ride rides that day. Mm. So like I would just enjoy the park and just not do any rides. Okay, okay. <laughs> that way I don't have to do let Astro. Me, me like Astro it. Orbiter for one hour sounds bad, but it's like I would choose would that really over dizzy. one hour of the swinging. Yeah. But if I just chose not to do a ride. Because mm-hmm. I do not like Pixar Pal around. I would do it once. I You'd do it once, yeah. just one ride? I would do it once, yeah. And then just enjoy the food too. in California Adventure. That was convincing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, oh, okay. Oh, I thought it would be more different. Uh, we I might have know. differed on like one so far. I considered, yeah, I considered one. Astro Orbiter nonstop, but then I considered the fact that I just have the worst motion sickness now in any of those spinning, swinging, spinning yeah. rides are rough for me. So yeah. I don't think I could maintain that for an hour. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be rough. I mean, the swinging Pixar pal around. Yeah. I haven't attempted, but I think I could manage that a lot easier than just going in circles. Yeah. But oh, that swinging is so scary. It's but tough. yeah, if it, if it was that for an hour, that would be, oof, that'd be so tough. That'd yeah. be so scary. That's mm-hmm. like a torture um, ride. You know, yeah. it's just filled with fear. But um, absolutely. Okay. So next up, we got at Live Learn Dream Magic. And she said, okay. This is long. Yeah. So for the rest of your life, would you rather rope drop or close the parks? Now, I'm going to take this first part. Okay, we're going to take this first part first because she adds some more stipulations here, which are really fun. But let's just take that first part. Would you rather rope drop or close the parks? If I could choose, I would say rope drop. Yeah, so before I would say close the parks. Yeah, before um, we get into the... Before we had the... Well, and before we had a baby. like Yeah. I would I would love closing down the parks. Yeah, but now but, with a baby, it's, you know. Well, yeah, but there's also just something about mornings there that I just love. Yeah. And okay, normally so you would I say rope drop. wake up early, but when I'm in Disneyland, of course I do. And it's yeah. just, it's like, I'm never more excited than a morning in Disneyland. So mm-hmm. yeah. for me, I like rope drop. Yeah. Now I would say rope drop, but before babies probably, yeah, um, close the park. But okay, here's the stipulation. So for the rest of your life, would you rather rope drop or close the parks? Now, if you choose rope dropping, you would get free Genie Plus, but you have to leave in the early afternoon, so you miss all of the entertainment at night. Now, if you choose closing down the parks, you get in during the late afternoon, but you see all of the entertainment with VIP viewing all the time. So it's like you get to go in the morning with Genie Plus, but you have to leave, or you come in very late Mm -hmm. and you get VIP with all the entertainment. Yeah, that being the case, closing down. Okay, see, to get and VIP viewing for all the shows, and yeah, because nighttime is also magical to me. To get okay, yeah. magic of nighttime in Disneyland and VIP viewing, I think yeah. that's worth it more than Genie Plus. Because honestly, Genie Plus doesn't even really make it worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, you could only get like a few reds. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. So I yeah I I think I like the idea of the genie plus 
even well the entertainment with the vip viewing would definitely be awesome but i think the thing that really clinches it for me is that if i chose the rope dropping i would never see the disneyland magic at night with all the lights again mm -hmm. and i need to see that like that's one of my favorite things about disneyland yeah. is seeing those lights turn on so i have to go closing down the parks agreed yeah so the, oh oof. Okay. that's tough though that's that is really really tough because both have such different like you know special aspects to them morning yeah. versus night but yeah i think i think in in these terms i think closing would be the the way to go yeah for sure do you want to okay. get the next one here yes next one comes from at rocks lehman who said never ride a single classic ride ever again or never ride only or any current or future new ride again oh my gosh this is super that is hard really hard and I, i'm gonna take oh, classic gosh. as not like opening day attractions but just like you know In within that 60s 70s yeah kind of realm or sorry 50s through 70s kind of realm yeah um i think i would assume that's in there <sighs> this is really tough because that'd be that'd be so hard that like if a new ride came out and everyone's talking about it and then you, you just like can't ride it oh and we've already done all the classic rides but then that That's means you're giving up like pirates haunted favorites. yeah no I'd, I'd go never ride any current or future ride so you'd stick with the classics yeah because that's what makes that's a big part of what makes me love disney Ooh. so much that's true because like that's what makes me if go you back aren't able time. to go on favorite. the rides that like walt really had his hand in making mm -hmm. that would be that'd be such a bummer yep okay okay yeah i, I would say the same so mm -hmm. never ride any uh, new rides i would That's stick really to the hard. classic i would stick to the classics but oh man that There's is too so many tough. classics that just like have my heart yeah you know i mean a lot of the new ones are cool but to be honest, like a lot has gone downhill. I mean, a lot yeah. of them are great, but there's a lot that have gone downhill in my opinion. And I would much rather be able to do all of my classic favorites forever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially with all the fantasy land rides, like yeah. that just that screams Disney. Disney. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're picking that we would Same rather answer. ride all the classic rides. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So next up we got from at make it magical pod, uh, some of our friends, Within yes. the Disney podcast Who are community. in Disney World right now. I'm sorry yeah. I did not mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. Yeah, they're they're amazing. Definitely go check out their podcast. But yeah, they are in Disney World. Yeah. Um, go follow along. I'm sure they'll be posting updates. Yeah. And we're very jealous that they're there right now. I know. But so I hope jealous. you guys are having a great time. Yeah, we, we hope you are. <laughs> um, so they said, Would you rather get access to Club 33 one time or get back free fast passes forever? Mm -hmm. One's like for the people and one's like a selfish thing. Yeah. It's like, cause if you get free fast passes forever. Or maybe I'm it's a, just for us. Oh, is it just for us? <laughs> maybe it is. Oh, maybe it is too. just for us. Okay. So. Oh. I, I know mine. Do you? Yeah. Since I've ridden all the rides and I love being able to go on the rides, but. I would rather do something new and something I've always wanted to do. So I would say Club 33 one time and I'll put up with the lines. Okay. Oh, oh man. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I mean, Club 33 is like my dream to get to go. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I was this close to picking fast pass. But I don't know. I guess Club 33 is always going to be kind of my number one. Like goal in answer. Disney life. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. that's on the table, that's probably going to be my choice. Yeah. But gosh. Oh, we'll to, put up with the Genie Plus or just the single rider lines and standby. Well, just the way that lines are now. Like, They're I'm just fun. I'm just imagining like it getting worse over the years. I'm like, oh, to be able to have Oh, that forever. Ah, uh, forever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm still choosing Club 33, but yeah, yeah that is oh, so tough. That's so hard. I just pay so a little hard. bit whenever I go there. Yeah, now, I if guess. I live, if we lived near the parks and we went a lot more often, then I would be like free fast passes, I think, forever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we go, it's like two, three days at a time. So I'll just pay that Genie Plus. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess. 
Even though it's really not very good. Yeah. Fast yeah. pass will always be the best. Yeah, it will. It will. And we had fast passes at our wedding. That was like your yes. seating chart. I don't know if you've seen it. We have a reel. It's like a picture of us getting married. Um, yeah. And you could go check them out there. But that was like the best it thing ever. So having good. the little fast passes. So good. Uh, so, so great. Um, Last one. Last one. Oh, yeah. This is our final Would You Rather. And it's pretty tough. Yeah. I'll, I'll read this one off, I guess. So at Plan Disney with Jill, another guest that we had on a couple months ago now. So fun. Yeah. We love her. Um, she said annual pass for life, but you can only visit that park or visit every Disney park around the world. Mm. There's a thing here. You could only visit that park with your annual pass or you could only... Is this for is, the rest of your life only visit that one park? But okay, I think it's that. I think it's that. Wait, but like park as in like all of Disneyland, like Disneyland California Adventure, or um, well, Disney World, Disney all, World, World all four parks. Not, I think just it's like gonna, be, yeah, no, I think it's probably like, gonna be like for the whole resort. Okay, this is really tough. I, I, we might differ on this. Okay, one. I think I know. I think I know. I think we're gonna differ. Okay, do you want to go first or me? I'll go first. Okay. I would rather, <laughs> I'd rather visit every Disney park around the world. Okay. Yeah. We differ. I oh, we I do? Say annual. Yeah. And you could never go to Walt Disney World again? Well, I don't know because I don't know if I would choose Disney World as my. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh my know. gosh. And never go to Disneyland again? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. For like, and then you never have to pay though for Disney. Yeah, much, that's my food. thing. I'm like, if because it just gets more and more expensive to have it forever, just be able to go whenever I want. I mean, yeah, within reason. That's you pretty, go, you going there? I don't know. Okay. I mean, obviously, Ooh. I want to go to all the parks around the world, but the idea of just having that set, I can go yeah. forever, whenever I want. You that's do that. pretty tempting. Okay, and you would choose what park? I mean, I guess I would have to pick Disneyland. Yeah, it'd be hard to never go to Disneyland yeah. again. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 almost. I mean, right it, there we just love Walt Disney so World. Yeah, much more in Disney World that it would be. You know, it would be. But your heart to is back. like. But yeah, my heart like is Disneyland. Disneyland so. Okay, so there. Okay, so last one we differ because I think. I would, I would, I would pay to go to Disneyland, but yeah, if I could get all the parks around the world, I guess would that be free? Just one time in each park? I guess. Maybe. I, I, because I would love to, and I've always wanted to do that. Check out the other ones, and then I'd come back home, and then I'll, I'll do my Disney World trip if I need in Disneyland. But yeah, okay, yeah. that's. But I do like the answer because I was, I, I do like your answer too because I, I do, I was feeling that a little bit, and then I kind of changed. I it mean, recently. I could go either way. Like it's not. Either one could be, would be great. Answer. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, obviously either one would be great. But ooh. I think I think to have a set for free. For free, yeah. To know that I can just go forever. Yeah. But although I mean, I guess it would have to be like each of us are able to have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to go by myself. Like it to have the pass would be amazing, but I, I think that's a couple thing. Like I think that's a couple whole, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like our whole family. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I love those. Oh my gosh. You guys just crushed us a little bit here. Those were that, tough. Those are so good. Oh my gosh. I, I know we did a uh, Would You Rather episode like way back in the day, or it was like a game night once so we did yeah. different types of things. So we asked and ours our, were, our, our, like we, we asked ourselves with everything. And they weren't this crazy. So yeah. um, okay. we knew we had to throw it out to our listeners because we knew that you guys would be very mean. We and, knew you'd uh, come through <laughs> for us and make come up us. with some tough ones. Just writhe in anguish yeah. with our answers. Oh my gosh. So much fun. <laughs> but it was fun. fun. It was still fun. It was fun to contemplate these impossible questions, but you yeah. know, just what we would do if we were in those circumstances. So, so thanks so for sad. sending in your questions, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your love, and we will see you all next week. We'll see you then. See you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.